34 shots in total for Liverpool, 11 of them on target. But in the end, Atleti through to the quarterfinals, the defending champions out. How are you feeling? <laughs> Do you know what? If, if anybody ever questioned why you spend 80 million on a goalkeeper, you just saw it tonight. And I'll tell you what, this is not the first time in recent years that this has cost Liverpool. Yeah. Two years ago in the final, Carry has cost them a Champions League. Uh, they did win it last year because in the final, Alisson played a major part in that. Tonight, Liverpool lost because of a goalkeeper. Because of a goalkeeper. It was interesting. From the moment that he made that mistake, when Llorente got his first goal, you didn't really feel, did you? The, the, you just felt that just completely took the wind out of Liverpool's sails. Well, it takes, it takes the wind out of the players, it takes the wind out of the crowd, and it does the opposite for the opposition. It just fires them up. All of a sudden, they've got a hold of something. And, and yes, they got numbers behind the ball, but you can't say they defended particularly well, because at the end of the day, All Black was absolutely outstanding. He probably made about seven or eight saves that maybe, maybe two of them were, were fantastic, but the rest were because he's in a great spot, he doesn't panic, he made good positional decisions, and that's why they got through. They didn't get through because they defended particularly well, in my opinion. They had a goalkeeper who stood on his head, a team in Liverpool who couldn't take the chances, and ultimately that's, because they have a goalkeeper. That's a key point, though, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yes. That's the key point. Liverpool didn't take their chances. Well, actually... Adrian's error wouldn't have even... Let me put it this way. Let Adrian's me, error wouldn't have even well, mattered, You're, you're forgetting it? something. Liverpool had head. Liverpool had qualified with a clean sheet. No, they've already gone to penalties. You know, this was all about Liverpool not taking any of those 34 shots that they had well, and converting them, surely. I, I'm not going to... Right, I'm not going to disagree. The, the opportunities were not taken, but guess what? Liverpool, this is not... This hasn't just turned around and happened tonight. Mm. You know, since, since they had that so-called break, they haven't been sharp going forward. But the truth is, Dan, when you look at this game, it's all about the goalkeeper. Ali? Well, I would say that it should have never gotten to that point, to where you're depending on Adrian. Because let's face it, Atletico Madrid was not offering anything offensively they were hanging on and it was the definition of hanging on and so I go back to the fact that this game should never have gone to extra time Liverpool was there on the front foot it was maybe a period of maybe five to ten minutes in the first half where you maybe thought well look at Atletico Madrid knocking the ball around actually creating, creating chances themselves but after that it was all Liverpool all night and so for me while it is easy to point the finger at Adrian and obvious and correct to point the finger at Adrian I think you first point the finger at the fact that this game should never have gone to extra time you first address the fact that Liverpool had chance after chance after chance and if there's anything that also gives life to another team is the fact that you keep giving opportunities away and then you get that feeling as a Liverpool player it's like is this one of those nights and you're an Atletico Madrid player sitting there saying wait a minute are we really going to pull this off? We're going to hang on. We feel strong about ourselves. And then, of course, the mistake happens by Adrian. And then from there, Atletico Madrid took off. For me, it's a self-fulfilling prophecy. Coming into this match, the whole conversation was, well, are they going to be able to cope if they don't have uh, Alisson in goal? And they don't have Alisson. They don't have Alisson. They don't have Alisson. Eventually, Adrian is put in a position where he makes a mistake. Liverpool are out. And then you say, well, it's Adrian. I think it goes deeper than that. This team should have won the game in regular time. Liverpool were two, have I missed something here? Liverpool were 2-0 up in the, in the tie and got an extra time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for well, two minutes. Through. If they don't lose a goal, they're through. But so, they... so, 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 yes, yes, they could have finished it off earlier, but the fact is should have. they lost the game because of the goalie. But you could also say if Robertson scores that header instead of hitting the crossbar, if Salah does better in front of goal then, as Ali mentioned, we wouldn't even be in extra time. We wouldn't be having this conversation. There were multiple chances. They're through. Dan, they're through at 2-0. I know I, we keep going back to the same thing. They're through at 2-0. Mm. Without the goalkeeper giving the first goal away, Liverpool go through. Real, uh, Atletico Madrid, other than the, f the first minute of the game, never looked like score, never got near the goal. Absolutely no one near it. Complete and utter dominance, complete and utter total control.
Because one guy then gets involved and makes a mess of it. That's why they're out. You, can't, you cannot look at it any other way. We can, we can complain about missed chances. The fact is they were, they were through with a clean sheet and the goalkeeper for the second time in three years has blown it for them. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.